So let's get started using Dr. Racket and the beginning student language. The main basic thing to know about programming in general and programming in the beginning student language in particular is that it's very much like using a calculator. Okay, so um, and uh, you can start using Dr. Racket as a calculator by going to the bottom half of Dr. Racket. So this is called the interactions window. Okay, um, there's already, uh, if you click there, a flashing cursor waiting for you to enter something you want to calculate, and then it's just going to calculate for you. So what do I mean by that? Well, um, we could enter a number, like if I type 25, and then at the end hit enter or return, it says yes, 25. Okay, great. Well, what if I actually want to calculate something, like make an arithmetic operation? Well, here is how you make any operation happen in the beginning student language. Okay, this is going to be what we'll be doing a lot in the rest of the class, so pay attention. To make any operation, let's say I want to uh, subtract um, something from 25, first type the left parenthesis. And then type the name of the operation, like here it will be subtraction, so type minus, that's one, just one key. And then put a space. And then put what input you want to give to this operation. So uh, I want to give 25 as the input to this operation, so I'm going to put 25. But I also want to subtract something from 25, so I'm going to put another space. And then let's say I want to subtract 20 from 25. Okay. And then finally, I'm not done yet, put the right parenthesis. Okay, that's how you enter an operation. Okay, and now when I hit enter or return at the end, I get the result of the subtraction, which is five. Okay, so this works for every operation in the beginning student language. So it's not just for subtraction. You know, if I want to add the numbers, you know, I will say plus. Um, 25, 20. Again, I always put at the beginning a left parenthesis. That's also sometimes called the open parenthesis. And then the name of the operation, and then what input I want to give to it with spaces in between. And then finally, the closing or right parenthesis. Okay, and when I hit enter, I get the result, which is 45. Okay. Um, and you can do multiplication, like if I want to uh, multiply, that's the star or asterisk. That's a symbol for multiplication in the beginning student language. Okay. Um, or I might want to divide. So if I want to divide 25 by 20, I can use a slash. Okay. That gives me the answer and so on.